Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are doing Rick Sanchez. Uh, a week or two ago I did a Morty Smith skin and people seem to really like that, so even though this cartoon style is definitely very challenging, I thought I'd give it another world and see what we can do. The most difficult part of these Rick and Morty skins is absolutely doing the cartoon facial structure. I don't know how I feel about this one. The eyes are really big, which I think looks a little bit strange, but at the same time, that is how they're portrayed on the actual skin. So I don't know. I might do a revised version that I post later, uh, just as a comment on this one that has the eyebrow a little bit lower and cuts off more of the eye. But for now, this is what I'm going with. The other thing that's interesting about these cartoony skins is that I don't do quite as much shading as I do for other skins. Instead, I just do one layer or color of shading. Normally, I would do two or three in addition to the actual base layer is, is what I'm saying. Rick Sanchez is well defined by his spiky hair, which is, believe it or not, also very difficult to pull off on a skin like this. But I put the spikes closer to the back. I did a Sonic the Hedgehog skin a while back and it has a very similar sort of style of spikes at least um towards the back of the head it just gives it a little bit more depth and is more true to the character but it's definitely challenging honestly this was a surprisingly hard skin to make and i'm not super sure about how it turned out for once uh, if you guys have any suggestions please let me know uh, that goes for other skins that I might make down the line as well. I've got a Discord you can visit. If you like the skin, you can download it from the link in the description below. And uh, until next time.